Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Now today's piece of content is a continuation of my iconic backpack series, which is where I take backpacks or bags that in my own honest, humble opinion have attained uh, an iconic, almost legendary kind of status. Um, and this is one that I've been trying to get my hands on for a long time. And it turns out that an internet friend was trying to get rid of his. So we did a bit of a horse trade and I'm happy to announce today that we will be having a look at the Prometheus Design Works Shadow. Now, this is a, this is a special pack. This is a very special pack. And yeah, I was really chuffed that I managed to get hold of this. This is one of those kind of grail kind of bags that I've been looking at trying to get my hands on, managed to get my hands on it. So yeah, really chuffed with this. Um, so what we'll do as we usually do is I'll turn the camera around whilst I'm doing that. If at any point you do enjoy this content, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe. And at this point, I'd like to take the time to also thank you if you do choose to uh, subscribe and like this content then it's only right for me to say thank you i certainly appreciate your um, input so let's turn the camera around and take a closer look at the prometheus design works shadow backpack So here we have the Prometheus Design Works Shadow. Now I'm just gonna call it the Shadow from now on mainly because Prometheus Design Works, it's just a bit of a mouthful. Um, but, you know, this really is a masterclass in creating a backpack because everything is thrown into this. And I, and I really do mean everything. Um, the guys, and if I'm right in saying, please correct me if I'm wrong in this, but the, the, the guys that started up uh, Prometheus Design Works came from Triple O Design, so there's a lot of heritage in their design work with Triple O Design being such a, you know, a, a well-loved company, um, and you know they they put a lot of design elements into this. So let's get let's get straight into it. Now, as we usually do, we'll do some measurements, some materials, and then we'll have a look through the features. As far as measurements is concerned, this comes in at 20 inches by 11 inches. Now, there is a taper to this. Hopefully you'll see at the top here, it is wider uh, and it's slightly narrower here at the top. So the widest part, this is 11 inches here at the bottom where it's the narrowest, this comes in at nine inches. And as far as the depth is concerned, at its max when you have the most in here, not including the beaver tail on the front when that's got stuff in, we're just talking about the volume of the main compartments, it comes in at seven inches. Now, all all in all, this is a 24 litre backpack, which is actually a really, really good size. I nearly did three wheelies then, but I stopped at two. Um, you, ch you tend to find EDC backpacks, uh, anything that's kind of from maybe say 20 up to 30 litres is generally the sweet spot for EDC or just day bags. <coughs> 24 litres. I apologise, I've got a bit of a, <coughs> a bit of a tickly cough today. Uh, but 24 litres is just right. Now, as far as materials-wise is concerned, this uses the Invicta, or is it Invictus? I think it's Invicta. Invicta Cordura, well, it's the 500D Invicta Cordura. Um, the values with 500D, you know, it's still tough. Don't get me wrong. I know when we say, oh, we you know 1000, D is tougher yeah it is but 500 D is still very tough but it also means that because there's a, le a lot less material on there it also helps to you know make it more malleable if you want to compress things um, it certainly makes it more lighter if you're wanting to use this as a day pack as well on the inside which we will have a look at uh, it is a 70 D ripstop um, nylon which again is very nice uh, and it's also kind of high-vis as well which is very cool all of the zippers on here these are all YKK zippers uh, with the uh, the reverse coil stitching on there which helps any debris from falling in um, unfortunately while I was setting my camera up this took a nosedive off here twice um, and yeah we, we've got a bit of we've got a bit of foliage on it but all of the dirt that was on it I've just given it a bit of a rub and you know it doesn't get any in here all of the buckles now I didn't check the buckles actually what type of buckles are they I can't really see but I'm guessing they're either Nexus or ITW I probably should have checked that on beforehand so apologies about not checking that now 
Um, I can't see. I can't see on there, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll make sure I leave a note here to say. But I can tell you that all of the fixtures, all of the fittings on here really are at a or on uh, an all-time kind of high tier um, which again you know it's one of the reasons why this is one of my uh, one of my iconic backpacks so we'll have a look around the pack um, we're starting with the sides and I'll switch this one around this way mainly so that you can see in there that I have my cantina in there yes it's not tea I'm still rocking the warm Ribena and god damn this stuff is great I'm just going to put that there because I've dropped it a few times today. Um, but large, large pockets go all the way down through here. You're not going to be able to fit one of those large um, Nalgene bottles in there. It, it, it's just a little bit too small. But if you want to put maybe one of the uh, one of the smaller ones, so the large ones I'm thinking of the 75, uh, the 750 milliliter bottles. Uh, you, you, 750 milliliter bottles, you're not going to be able to fit one of those. The 500 ones will fit in there perfectly. This is this is a 750 one, but rather it, you know it's one of the, it's the taller, longer types. It fits in there. Uh, there's certainly no reason why you should have any issues if you have a longer, taller style bottle uh, for that to fit in. On the front, uh, there's a little tab so that you can pull it if you want to put it open, and then it's, it's, it's elastic elasticated at the top. But the, the, the meshing, or at least the pocket itself, rather than using like an expandable mesh pocket, um, I think this has got a, uh, a spandex in it or something in that to make sure that it stretches out but as soon as something comes out of it it just you know it just moves back on there but hopefully you can see it goes all the way around the bottom here and uh, for, for that to fit in the one on the other side is identical as you'd expect uh, and everything is in there I'm just gonna move my notes out of the way for a second but yes it goes all the way in on the front now they've done quite actually now let's go for, let's go to the bottom first because we will go to the front um, now I have dropped this a few times but I certainly don't need to worry mainly because uh, with the Cordura this does have a DWR coating on here so if you get it wet you know it just brushes off but if you get dirt on it mainly this is just green off off uh, off the tree here but just give it a bit of rub and it comes off perfectly but here on the bottom rather than having lashing points instead what they've done is they've opted to put some pal webbing and this is laser cut pals webbing here onto the bottom so if you want to add a bedroll or anything onto the bottom of this you can certainly use these as lashing points and it gives you a little bit more freedom mainly because you've got how many have you got so you've got four columns with one two three four five rows on there so you know you can you can certainly do quite a bit but one of the big things which I love when companies do this we've got a grab handle on the bottom now I'm kind of you know going through it but grab handle on the bottom grab handle on this side grab handle on this side grab handle on the top when you're traveling I found so many times that I'm trying to get something in a taxi and get out quick or put stuff in the overhead compartment and it's moved Having grab handles all around is, yeah, it's brilliant and I'm glad that they put it on there. But if you want to grab it, you want to just take it like that instead, then you can do. Uh, but yes, four grab handles on the sides, on the top and on the bottom as well. Moving up the bottom, you'll be able to see that we do have some little loops here. So these can be used if you need to store ice axes. There are also some bungee cords at the top on both sides where is it on this side here it is uh, so that you can loop your ice axes on there if you choose to um, it's yeah it's very tactical but it's also multi-purpose in the fact that whether you're using this for day hikes in the countryside like this whether you're going i don't know full spec ops i don't know whatever um, then yeah there's there's a lot of features on here but yes you have the loops on there just in case you need those now I have mentioned on the beginning of this, so there is a beaver tail here on the front and you can, it's actually set up in a way in which that you can turn this round depending on how you're using it. So at the moment, this is my everyday kind of use. So there's nothing on the front of here so that all of the things that are behind here are kept a little bit more secret. But also if I want to take my jacket off, I can put it behind here so it's just stored in there. And then there is an additional easy access pocket here so that I can just put 
things in. Maybe I want to take my gloves off quickly so that it's on there. Now if I choose to, with the two buckles here at the top, sorry, I'm just trying to do this with my gloves. Oh, the Wu Jin. <laughs> there you go. They are Wu Jin plastics, which are great plastics anyway. But there, there's a little, you, you can't see that, but there's a, there's a Wu Jin logo on there. But, so when I pull this down, hopefully you'll be able to see that we have a laser cut PALS webbing on the front there. So just with the two buckles here at the bottom, if I wanted to take this off, turn it round and put it on that way so that I've got something that's more expandable, more modular here on the outside, then I can do that as well. I've also tried this and it's actually worked out really well. I've put a couple of pouches into this but so that they're on the inside and then put this up and it just makes sure that those, pa those pouches that are on there just conform to the bag a little bit more so it stops them from swaying and, and, and moving around. Now, generally when you put the, um, the Molly system on correctly, it shouldn't sway a little too much, but you do get a little bit of a sway. So putting them on the inside and then lifting them up worked out really well. Now I'm just going to keep that down for a second so that we can see the front and you've got a very technical looking front here that you tend again to get on a lot of outdoor style backpacks. Daisy chains down the left and right and down through the centre so that you can attach additional modular things to this if you choose to. Uh, and through the daisy chain we have a bungee cord system with a tie or a, you know, a, what do you call these, these slip, pin, pinch, slip, whatever you call them, toggly things at the top. So if you choose to put something in there then that will keep that safe as well. Uh, and then when, actually no, I'll keep that down for a second, then on the front um, at the top you have a nice morale patch section and then underneath that there is a uh, quick access pocket. Now the quick access pocket on this is really useful. It goes all the way across the front. At the moment I have my bumps and scrapes uh, kit which I also keep my medication and things in as well. I also have a little little um, tote bag kind of thing. But if I open this up here, hopefully you'll be able to see all the way in there and you can see that there is some organisation. Now, they really do think of everything, including the kitchen sink. So firstly, hopefully you'll be able to see you've got this really nice high-vis lining in there. But this organisation panel is on by hook and loop, which <laughs> is actually really hard to take off. So you can keep all of your things that you need to keep in there. Now you're definitely going to have to take them out if you want to take it off because it's quite difficult to take them off. Um, but you can put that throughout the rest of the bag or if you're in a part of the world where maybe you want to put something in here for maybe CCW, then you can put additional magazines into here. You may be able to fit your firearm into there as well if it is a compact, subcompact kind of size. Um, you're certainly not going to be able to fit a large firearm in there, but there are other areas of the pack that, that we will have a look at that maybe you'll be able to keep those in instead. Now on all of the pulls, you have these little loop ring pulls, uh, which are really nice. You can kind of pass your finger through them. Obviously I'm wearing my gloves here at the moment, but it just means that you get a wider purchase so that you can grab hold of it and then you can, you can pull that across. So then moving through the rest of the bag, we then have two additional compartments. Um, I, I refer to this as a two compartment kind of bag because we have, we have the main compartment, which is for the, the vast majority of the, um, of the volume for this. And then there is a, there is a smaller uh, one at the front, which for this one is more of a tech kind of pouch laptop uh, sort of area. So as far as the two main compartments, or at least the main compartment and the, the secondary compartment, Secondary compartment zips down reasonably close to the bottom. Now it's not a full clamshell, but it is very close to it. So this will just splay right open so that you can get into it. Now I know this is the moment that you've been waiting for. I can confirm that the Prometheus Works, Prometheus Design Works Shadow is <clears throat> recognized and 
tactical teddy bear compliant you hear you heard it here first more of this really nice high-vis lining on the inside you have an extra little clip here at the top should you need to hang something from it and then you have a nice padded uh, sleeve here that you can put a laptop into um, I have a 16 inch laptop, unfortunately it won't fit into this, but it will fit into the back compartment if you just have a laptop sleeve or something that you want to keep it in. Um, but yeah, so my 16 inch laptop won't fit into this. But here in the front, you can see hopefully that you have two um, mesh pockets. There's a small one that just runs across the top there. Then there is this larger one that goes all the way down to the bottom uh, so that you can put additional wires and cables and things like that into as well. Now as far as is this a suspended laptop, it's not suspended, however this one goes down roughly to about here which is roughly an inch or so from the bottom of the bag so unless you were unlucky and um it landed in such a way that maybe it landed forward it is reasonably protected from the bottom of the bag and the ground now the main compartment we open this up now I will say, so, and I, I quite like this feature in the fact that if you have um, your beaver tail up and you've got the, uh, the you've got the compression on there with the, with the clips, um, it will only open to about here. So it just means if you do have anything heavy in here, it'll stop it from fully uh, fully falling forward, um, and you can just get access to it. But if you want to have full access, just undo the buckles, and then you can then you can open that. Now, as far as how far this opens up. If I turn this onto its side, hopefully you're able to see here. So this is where the side pockets are. So whereas this one goes actually in front of the side pockets and it's got more of a clamshell opening, this one probably goes down about two fifths of the way. On the front, you have uh, some pockets with mesh on. There is a smaller pocket and there is a larger pocket underneath there. Uh, I have my small micro tech pouch kind of kit which I take everywhere with me uh, because I still haven't decanted all of my stuff from when I was I was away with work the other week I have my uh, tech pouch uh, my TAC 8 pouch TAC pouch H uh, from Tasmanian Tiger this again this is you know this is one that goes everywhere with me and then you can see this large main compartment um, if I was to guess, I don't know the exact measurements, I'd probably say that this was 20 out of the 24 litres and then maybe you've got the 4 litres or so in the front. It might be, say, maybe a 18 to 6 split, but this is this is your larger, larger compartment. Now, as I mentioned, so my laptop doesn't fit in the front into, in, into the laptop sleeve. Uh, but I do have a sleeve that I put my laptop into and then it fits perfectly in here So if you have a 16-inch laptop, you know, it, it's, it's definitely gonna fit now on the back panel You have more of these little pockets with mesh behind them In fact, there's an additional one down there, but that one's quite difficult to get to until you realize that this whole panel comes out and this again is included as part and parcel everything that we've seen today comes included with this so they call this their edco panel so on this side you can put maybe if you do carry um a ccw and i mentioned earlier that um there are solutions in this if you do ccw so all of these behind this uh, pals webbing is like um, a plastic resin kind of back. So whatever you uh, attach onto here, it, it, it won't bend. Um, so once it's in there, maybe you could put a, a pistol in here and then you can put some additional ammunition or anything like that in the front. But also because, as I mentioned, this organization, this uh, has hook and loop. This also has hook and loop, so you can attach this to this as well. Um, maybe this is something that you take to the range, maybe it's something that you take to work but you don't want to always have in your bag. You can take this out, put it away, go away for the weekend with your bag, then get back to work, maybe put that back in again, blah blah blah, you know. This is a really nice solution and I think it's great that they included this. Uh, with everything that you see here today. Then behind here, there is another sleeve. 
uh, which is really designed for, I mean, you probably could fit a laptop in here, uh, but this is mainly designed for hydration bladders because you have a little um, clasp here at the top so that you can then put that through. As far as a hole for the hydration bladder, this is one that comes through on the middle rather than uh, either on the left and the right. Behind here, well, there is a little tab. There's a little tab on here that says made in Vietnam. Um, I know some people have asked in previous pieces of content that, you know, I, I don't discuss where uh, bits have been made. Um, that's not usually on purpose, but I noticed that there. Uh, there is a lot of absolutely amazing gear coming out of Southeast Asia at the moment. Vietnam, um, Korea, Taiwan, there's some absolutely world leading gear. So um, made in Vietnam definitely has quite a, it, it, it's a lot better than it used to be, put it that way. YKK zip on there and then inside here you have a rigid back panel. Now, if I pull that out, can you see that there's those holes in there? So those holes in there are used in such a way so that if you did want to take this out, maybe you're in a situation that you needed to dig yourself out of a snowstorm or something, maybe you needed to dig your car out, you can take this out and you can use it for lots of different things. But this is the inside, but really, while I'm putting these in, next thing, let's have a look at the back panel. So turning this round to the reverse so that we can have a look at the suspension system. I have to say that the back panel on this is possibly one of the best pack panels on a backpack that I've come across. Uh, also, the uh, the straps on here are again, you know, some of the best straps that I've come across as well. Not particularly wide, uh, but I think with the closed foam um, padding that is in here, they do an exceptionally good job. However, I just want to actually let, let yeah, I, I just want to touch on something which is, you know, what we've just seen inside that you get, and this all comes part and parcel with it that you get this belt and it is included when you when you purchase this the back panel itself you have two strips now generally I prefer packs that have the two strips that go all the way down to the bottom but this does have one of the lumbar supports on here but the lumbar support doubles as your connection to, be able to put um, to put your belt on here so what happens is you take off the bottom lumbar support part see let's put let me put this down for a second so this comes off and then in here you're able to see that this does open up so once this opens up it needs to go on that way you that you can then loop this through here always easy to do when you're filming yourself and then on the inside you'll be able to see there that there is some hook and loop. So that hook and loop closure makes sure that this stays closed, but it also means that this, this doesn't slip through it. So that way now, when you're putting this back onto your bag, first of all this will then go on there with the hook and loop. And then you have this closure here to make sure that this also stays in place. You probably, some of you with OCD out there, have just noticed that I haven't done that perfectly straight. So hopefully it's not giving you too much of an issue. Uh, but then your lap, then your uh, waistband is perfectly secure. Now the waistband on this is absolutely amazing. It's, it's an incredibly good waistband. If you wanted to, you can take the buckle off here, slide the webbing through. I think I've actually put them on upside down, but it doesn't matter for now. Uh, slide that off so that you don't have to have these supports on here. Um, for 24 litres, it's not a massive amount um, of weight, but I guess you could really pack it heavily. Uh, having this additional support on whilst you're carrying, it certainly helps to alleviate some of the weight on the shoulders. Now getting back to the shoulders, here we have, and in fact hopefully if you can see, if the camera can pick this up, so there is a wave through here, very similar to maybe if you tried the direct action um, dragon's egg. So with that one, rather than having a flat uh, foam on the inside, it has this ridged foam. So one, it feels really nice on your back when you're carrying it, but it also allows a lot of air to move through there. 
but they have the exact same padding here on the uh, suspension system which means that when it's on it just feels so nice and I do have to say that carrying this there's just something about it. I, I, I don't know what it is. Prometheus Design Works. Prometheus stole fire from the gods and gave it to man to, to create industry. And I think Prometheus stole this backpack from the gods and gave it to somebody and they went, maybe we should sell this. But there's definitely something very special in here. You have load adjusters at the top. You have a sternum strap, which is one of the things maybe if I change, and it's only a tiny thing, but it just seems a little we just seems a little small and fiddly but it does an adequate well it does a good job it does a job that it's expected to do but this can be moved up so rather than having sliders it has one of these daisy chain style steps so that you can put it exactly where you want it then at the bottom which me which i, I think this comes from their tactical military side you have quick uh, quick release so that if you need to drop this uh get into a firefight I don't know um, but you can you can uh, have those quick release ones on there so that this can just be ditched so that you can run and yeah do whatever it is that you choose to do now I know I definitely said this at some point today in fact I'm pretty sure I've said it at some point but the shadow really is a masterclass for any budding technical tactical backpack creating manufacturers there's a lot put into this and there really is a ridiculous amount of thought that's put into this and I think a lot of that clearly comes from the expertise that they've had through the development and working with other companies and then you know moving out and venturing into the world themselves and what they've created is I, I hate to say it, but it's almost a unicorn backpack there's so much in here pretty much for every anyone on everyone whether you're traveling whether you're tactical whether you're outdoors whether you're commuting there's just a lot that you can do with this now some people might look at it and think that it is a bit daunting and i think that it is because there's a lot on here especially around the outside um, I think with the opportunity and the chance that you can take the fish the beaver tail off if you want or you know you can you can turn that round so you've got tactical and I hate saying grey man but tactical and not tactical or molly or pals and not pals then the options there but yeah absolutely amazing pack and well deserves its spot on the Morlander iconic wall of fame hall maybe I should do hall of fame I've got a spare castle or two I could probably I could probably turn one of those into a hall of fame so hope you've enjoyed this content it's probably a little bit longer than usual i tend to find with some of these iconic ones there's a lot to talk about with certain backpacks so i appreciate that you've got to the end here but what i'll do is i'll ensure that prometheus design works links are below so that you can see more from them i'll also leave some of my social media links as well but for now stay safe stay more and stay edc apologies in advance if, if the um if the camera does shit if the camera does a shit, it's not the camera, it's the mic, but it's got one of those fluffy things on it, which people refer to as a dead cat, but I probably shouldn't refer to as a dead cat, just in case I get cancelled or Peter comes knocking on my front door. Uh, don't call it a dead cat, you'll offend dead cats. Something like that. That's, uh, that's two nose dives that's took off. It's just too good of a position to lose. It's quite a nice, nice little, little desk. Uh, gorgeous wood as well. It's definitely been used from local trees because they're constantly falling down. In fact, I've come here a few times and that tree well, used to be over there. So, where were we? Oh, runny nose. Shall I put my hat back on? Yeah, let's put my hat back on kind of scale and yeah I, you know in my own honest humble opinion um, there are other fuck my fuck get your words out bellend you sometimes get climbers in fact you get a lot of climbers up here there's a lot of absolutely amazing some world-class climbs um, yeah, you just hear him gobbing off in the background.